Like why, why, when I'm doing things that are better in myself, why are people dropping off who are in my life? All right, guys, I'm back at it with another video, man. Um, I'm back, with, back, back at it with another video. I really want to do this video uh, about friends and support, but before I get into that, I really want to talk about. Uh, I really want to talk about y'all not understanding that friends and pattern like i don't think you guys are understanding friends and patterns like the reason why i do this channel is basically to give you a deeper insight onto human behavior human psychology sociology and everything like that because a lot of times people just imagine that it's so easy to just cut somebody off and it's so like i don't they don't understand it's the simple trick is just not talk to them or anything like that and what i'm telling you guys is that you need to understand like as a man working on your body everything like that you need to understand that there are personality traits that repeat like it's patterns in different people because think about it if one person feels one way why don't you think 10 other people will not feel that way or why would you not think 100 people not, may not feel that way and also understand i know you guys are a lot younger but i want you guys to understand also that not everybody is powerless you know what i'm saying like not everybody is struggling not everybody is broke not everybody doesn't have girls. Not everybody is struggling socially. You know what I'm saying? Like, understand that the world is just bigger than how you think. The world is bigger than how what you see. And I think a lot of times people get confused that their situation is everybody else's situation. That's one. Two, when I make these videos, I'm telling you guys that for a body game, you have to understand how. But yeah, what, I, what I want you guys to understand is understanding patterns you know what i'm saying it's not to say that somebody not being your friend somebody not supporting you is a problem the problem is for it to not be co politically correct onto how somebody thinks and that thought process affecting you being that you didn't have anything to do with that thought process this is somebody's first impression of you and how can it be negative that's why i'm telling you guys like think further you know what i'm saying be educated on this and understand that you shouldn't have to deal with somebody hating on you just because you're working on yourself. Like, obviously, that's not politically correct, but it happens. A lot of times people in my comments are commenting because they can relate to it. You're watching this video because you can relate to it. But I'm not telling you if somebody's being negative or is not a good asset in your life, I'm not saying figure out why and try to work on a relationship. Yes, you can debt the relationship, but you need to understand the mental patterns that happens in society and understand that you shouldn't have to deal with that pattern and you need to understand to recognize it to recognize the leap for it and to not let it stop you but you need to understand that this is a common occurrence when i make these videos i make a lot of these videos because this is not the first time it has happened and then also i'm speaking from experience i'm not speaking from like a book i'm not speaking from somebody else's experience i'm not speaking for somebody else i'm speaking from my life so when i'm able to talk to you guys and sit down and say okay this is what's going on this is how it works i'm telling you guys this because it's going to pretty much happen to you in your life you know what i'm saying you're not exempt from somebody acting away being away being fake towards you everything like that and that's not fair to you but you need to be educated on how to deal with it how to handle it and also how to recognize it because when you're younger you're more naive and so but basically in this video i'm just pretty much talking about why friends don't support you, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like this has been getting a lot of views on my channel because a lot of people are growing, they're evolving, they're practicing their body game, they're getting their muscles right, they're getting their body right, and a lot of people are dropping off. That's a common question. Well, like, why, why, when I'm doing things that are better in myself, why are people dropping off who are in my life? Why are the closest people who are in my life dropping off, not even friends, you know what I'm saying, people who are deeper connections, deeper relationships, why are they dropping off when I start to evolve and when I start to elevate? And that's what the question is I'm answering because people aren't going to just notice right off. People aren't going to tell you, hey, I'm sabotaging you because I'm intimidated by you. They're going to cover their tracks and these videos are uncovering their tracks so that way you can open your mind and understand that this is happening around you. Because regardless if you understand or if you are able to articulate or you're able to see it if you can or can't it's still gonna happen you know what i'm saying it's human nature it's human behavior and people don't give two shits if it's bothering you or affecting you they're basing they're basically acting as if they how they feel and you should not be naive to those type of tactics you know what i'm saying you have to understand how to evolve past that and that's what i'm saying people will not support you because 
they feel intimidated by your success. It may not even be you in general. It may not even be how you look. It may not even be your body. But I'm just saying it's how they feel when you work on yourself because nobody wants to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's difficult. It's not. It's uncomfortable. People, humans, human behavior, humans like to be comfortable. When something is uncomfortable, humans will literally sit there and be complacent. They may not like the situation that they're in, but it's easier to just sit there and actually get up and do something about it. You know what I'm saying? It's easy for me to just not make a video, which was more easy, not making a video or making a video. But I'm making a conscious decision to make videos and give information, give game because people won't talk, won't talk about this. You know what I'm saying? I'm having an argument. People will gaslight you, act like they don't know what's going on. You're crazy. Whole time this is affecting you on a day to day basis. And somebody is not even having the audacity to have accountability of what they're doing or at least be like, you know what? I did do that. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. You're not going to get that accountability. And that's why I'm telling you guys, people are going to come in their traps because they're intimidated by you. You know what I'm saying? Just point blank, period. I'm going to go off of that, just give you more points off of that. But if somebody's intimidated you, if, if somebody's intimidated, why would they help feed a lion? If you are the king of the jungle, or somebody views you as a king of the jungle, why would they help you kill and get a meal and they already feel like you're the best in the jungle? You know what I'm saying? Why would you strengthen a competition? That's what I'm saying. When people view you as competition, they will not support you because it's almost as if why would I help you pass me? And that's why I'm saying you have to be able to understand how somebody sees you because somebody that's close to you may envy you and may not like what you're doing and may not support you because the whole time y'all aren't even friends. The whole time y'all aren't even close like that. You know what I'm saying? This happens all the time. And this is very dangerous because you're letting this person into your head, what you got going on, how to sabotage you, your weak points, your emotional vulnerabilities, all your vulnerabilities. And you're thinking this is a friend. And the whole time, it's not even like that. You know what I'm saying? You're pouring more into a relationship. You're pouring time, energy. Like, I'm trying to save y'all time and energy from this. I'm trying to help you guys not get into a paradigm of failures because you don't know that somebody's stabbing you in the back or uh, sabotaging you or hating on you because you're working on your body. And that's what I'm saying. I can speak on this all day because it's, it's happening to all of you, whether if you know it or not, this is happening to all of us. And a lot of you guys don't know it. You know, so a lot of you guys are like, you can easily just brush off like, okay, yeah, let's cut this person off. But if you don't understand the patterns, how are you going to know when somebody's doing it again in another friendship? What are you going to do if, as soon as you keep evolving, how many people are you going to keep around that you don't know is secretly enemies with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you guys this, this is important information. Don't, so if I'm saying something to you, don't pass it off as you, it's not happening to you or it hasn't happened to you yet. So you don't have to think about it. No. That's not smart. If somebody is telling you information and is able to articulate to where you can understand it, I'm doing it for a reason because it, it's a message that needs to be hit towards you so that way you understand this can be happening to something. This can be happening to somebody around you, somebody close to you. You know what I mean? But yeah, intimidation is, is definitely a thing on body game because think about it. If you are muscular, if you are huge, yes, you have those things, but that's not the only thing you have to offer in the world. You have muscles, but... Most of you guys are smart, too. Most of you guys have expensive, nice cars. Most of you guys have a nice family. Of course, women are going to be attracted to you. And why would somebody be happy that you have more opportunities? Or why would they be happy that you're leaving them? Why would they be happy that you're fighting in life and you're succeeding and they're fighting in life and they're failing? And I'm still saying, why would you think that it would be a correlation of that being your friend? And that's what I'm saying. Intimidation is a real thing. And I'm telling you guys that to understand that you have to play the game. You know what I'm saying? You have to play the game, right? You have to work on yourself because you can't let that stop you. But at the same time, you can't be oblivious to this because what happens is this happens to your son or daughter. You know what I'm saying? Where she's getting hate or whatever. You don't know how to deal with it. You don't know how to answer these questions. You're not educated on this because you just felt like you could just ignore it. And it's not a big deal. But whole time, this is like a generational pattern to where it's like other people in your family are dealing with this. Other friends of, you, of yours are dealing with this. And it's like they're bringing more negative energy because they don't know how to witness it. They don't know how to uh, pretty much decipher what's good energy and what's bad energy. They don't know how to decipher who is there for them or who's not there for them. Cutting people off is not easy. You have things like love. You have things like feelings. And you have things like time as an investment that you put into a person. And you think it's going to be just easy to just, oh, I'm just going to drop it. This is all the time, money I spent. I'm just going to drop this relationship because 
I don't know. I'm just, I'm just having, I'm having a feeling. No, most people aren't like that. But I'm just saying, like, you have to be able to understand that if you are intimidating people on a daily basis, they are going to do things to sabotage you or put things in your way. They're going to put, they're going to intentionally put obstacles in your way. And that's what I want you guys to understand is that every obstacle is not your obstacle. You know what I'm saying? Every obstacle is not for you. I think my camera's like slowing down, so it's probably getting hot. But yeah, just understand that and keep pushing. I'll be back with another video. I'm out. My camera's getting hot. So.